In 2021, this website listed the MCAT as the hardest exam in the world. Don't believe it? Ask the people that have already taken the exam and see what they say. Thankfully, there are a lot of ways to prepare for this exam. We get asked all the time about prep courses for the MCAT. Fortunately, I took the Prep 101 course and I'll be able to share my own personal review at the end of the video. So make sure you watch until the end. Let's get into it. First things first, what is the MCAT? The MCAT is a standardized exam used in Canada and the United States to assess the scientific knowledge and skills of medical school applicants. It is a critical step in your journey to becoming a physician and it's made by the AAMC or the Association of American Medical Colleges. Be sure to get familiar with that name. You might be wondering why it's so crucial to take the MCAT and do well on it. Well, it plays a significant factor in your medical school application process. It also shows medical schools that you're ready for the rigors of the medical school curriculum. A strong MCAT score can separate you from other applicants and get you into your dream medical school. To start off, let's talk about the different ways you can approach the exam. The first option is the one Numen said, which is to opt for a prep course. Your second option is self-study. The benefit of self-studying is that you can set your own schedule and go at your own pace. If you're taking a prep course, they might make you feel a little bit rushed, or you might even feel like it's a little too relaxed based on your level of knowledge. A major disadvantage of self-studying is that you might feel like you're left behind, you might feel like you're satisfied, or you might even feel like you don't know what's going on. If you're a non-trad, which means you don't have a science background, it usually is not recommended to self-study. For this reason, a lot of students decide on subscribing to prep courses for the MCAT. Prep 101 offers organized schedules, well-trained teachers, and thousands of questions and section banks for the MCAT. And moreover, they offer in-person and online prep courses. If you don't know what Prep 101 is, it's an education company that specializes in providing standardized exams as well as resources to prepare for those standardized exams. It's meant for students who want to pursue higher education or a professional certification. Which is exactly why we're going to be talking about the honest pros and cons of the Prep 101 prep course. First, let's talk about what they offer. They offer an in-person course or an online course. They're one of the only companies that offer this flexibility. And depending on where you live, generally the in-person course is at the University of Toronto in downtown if you're in the GTA. The second option is to join virtually. You could do this from the convenience of your own house and you join via Zoom and there's a chat box through which you can ask multiple questions. The format of this is pretty much like a university lecture. There are several benefits to taking the course in person. First of all, you'll have to stick to their schedule or else you'll fall behind and miss lectures. This will make you actually on top of your work. Second, you'll have access to classmates. They'll not only keep you accountable for your work, but you'll also be able to explain concepts to them, a study technique that is proven to enhance learning. A major disadvantage for the in-person course is that the commute takes a while if you live far away. For me, for example, I live about an hour and a half away from the downtown campus, so I'd be wasting three hours of valuable time a day. Sure, you can listen to an MCAT podcast or something that's helpful, but it's still not the same. So the obvious benefit here, as you guessed it, is you'll be able to save your commute hours if you choose the virtual option. You could also put those hours into sleeping or getting more rest or even doing something else productive throughout the day depending on how much time you have left. It can also be counterintuitive though because you might easily get distracted at home and might not be able to focus in the lecture in a virtual option. Let's talk about the actual lectures. Each lecture is four hours long and there are three lectures per week. This adds up to 138 hours of total live instruction over the course of the summer. These live lectures are really beneficial because you'll get to ask lecturers questions about things you need clarification on. Each lecture is supported by something called a classroom companion. This companion has all the notes you need for the lecture. And this is really good because you don't need to take your own notes. Plus it has the questions that you need to do while you're watching the lecture so you know if you're actually paying attention and if you're digesting the material. Now I get it, four hours might sound like a lot, but trust me, you get your breaks and they go at a very slow pace to make sure that you're following them and asking questions if you have any confusion. The lectures are always recorded so you can always go back and watch them again. The four hour long lectures can either be a massive advantage or a massive hindrance to your study. For example, if you know a lot about the MCAT content already, Going to that 4-hour lecture can really be a waste of time, whereas you can put that time towards something more focused in your study. On the other hand, if you feel like your basics aren't that strong, 
going with the course might be the better option because you're taught everything didactically and you're not going to miss out on key concepts. After every class, each subject has its own homework questions and you get to do those homework questions specifically from the AMC section bank and question banks. And those questions are taken up in the next class to make sure that you're able to answer those questions well. You might be wondering, how much does this prep course actually cost? The exact one Numen took costs $2,595. At first glance, this is pretty expensive. However, when you look at what they add in, the Altis exams, the Exam Cracker book set, the AMC bundle, and even after class practice sets. That all adds up to a lot of money that you'd be spending anyways. Nevertheless, $2,595 is really expensive, especially for university students like us. Therefore, you need to think critically about your plan of action and make an informed decision. And that's why we're making this video. We want you guys to know what you guys are really getting into and give you guys the honest truth about the pros and cons of this course. So we've just provided you with the facts that you could find online. So you're probably wondering what someone who actually took the course thinks. That's why Numen is going to be giving his honest review on the course, whether he thinks that it's worth it or not, and the company has no say in what he's about to say. Okay, let's get started with the overview. I thought the course was very well organized and it felt like a university course with the level of professionalism. To be more specific, I'll talk about my pros and cons for this course. Firstly, I really appreciated the fact that the lectures were all recorded. I could easily just skip through the content that I understood and specifically go to the parts that I needed to understand. In addition, the instructors were very helpful and answered every single question that I asked them. I even had a personalized head coach who would have meetings with me weekly or monthly and I could meet with them to talk about my study plan. The homework sometimes got in the way of me personally doing your questions and I also wanted to focus on some things like Anki, but because of the homework I wasn't able to leave much time for these two things. Something that you'll hear from a lot of MCAT test takers is that you should start your practice very early on in your prep. And Prep 101 does exactly that by assigning you AMC questions from the very beginning of the course. This helps inoculate you with the thinking that you need to answer those AMC questions. Now I enjoy didactic learning because it helps keep you on track as you're watching the lecture and make sure that you're not falling behind. But for me personally, I had taken the MCAT before and I found myself going over a lot of the concepts that I already know. At the same time, going over these concepts again and going over them in more depth actually helped me do a lot better because I had a stronger foundation this time. Lastly, in terms of value for money, Prep 101 offers a course retake policy where you can take the course again if you feel like you didn't get the score that you wanted on the MCAT. This is a great policy because you'll be able to take the course again and it'll essentially be half the price. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you found my personal experience helpful and thank you to Prep 101 for allowing us to be truthful in this video. See you guys next week.